Good afternoon, friends. Stephen and Yana Benoom with Israeli News Live. And we have a couple of guests with us this afternoon about LifeWave and some, um, in our opinion, really incredible testimony uh, with Tanya and her good friend, Aliza. And uh, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to let my wife pick it up from here and share because she knows far more about this than I do already because I'm just getting getting caught up on this amazing testimony. Yes. So again, we have Aliza and Tanya. And this testimony with uh, Tanya is truly incredible. And let's just get right into it. So Tanya, can you please tell us a little bit about your condition, what you suffered with and still suffer with, and how did LifeWave Patch X39 help you? Uh, what kind of progress you're making? So what what basically happened in your life with this uh, X39 patch? Well, I have multiple things that I'm dealing with. Um, so much I had to make a list, and this is not even all of it. Um, systemic candida, which is an issue with a lot of people, men and women, has been a long-term uh, situation. Um, it's been a life-threatening situation. I have high black mold levels in my body, um, <clears throat> which is, was at a very critical point and still, you know, dealing with, uh, I have um, four tick diseases. Um so mold is a very, it, it really breaks down the immune system extremely. And that's why they think that possibly that's why I've picked up all the tick diseases on top of all the other things. Um, I deal with um, something that's called MCSEI, multiple chemical sensitivities, environmental illnesses, um, some lung issues, uh, have um, chronic sinus issues that developed. I was exposed to something and I have some chronic sinus issues. Um, I have some lung issues. Um, I was um, in a wheelchair at times and had been off and on. Uh, I can walk uh, now. Sometimes I, it, it's not very good that I can walk. Sometimes it's better than others. Sometimes I'm, I'm not able to walk much at all. Uh, I'm disabled. I don't like that word. So I just say, you know, quote unquote disabled, and I'm not able to get out much because of the things that I've done and really basically not at all. So just to get to the doctor is uh, a challenge. Um, so I'll stop with those. I think that's enough for people to realize that there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> so, you know, if you got a lot of things going on, you know, it's, it's okay. So I have a different lot, a lot of different modalities that I've used throughout the years because of my sensitivities, a lot of bad reactions to uh, medications. So I had to learn the natural route. Uh, so I do a lot of that with some of the medications that I can take. Um, and I have, um, um, so that has been beneficial, but also sensitive to some even natural things. So even trying the X39, obviously it's something that I have to pray about and proceed with caution. And I did, and I got a, a clear direction to definitely try it. And especially after hearing Elisa's uh, testimony and what happened and we're good friends and I knew the health conditions she was in as well. Um, do you want me to go ahead and go into some of the benefits from here? Yes, well, I, I was going to ask you how you controlled your symptoms before you heard about X39, but you pretty much answered it. You had medications from doctors, but then you also uh, tried a lot of naturopathic uh, treatments, but you still suffer. And uh, so Sister Aliza there had an excellent, I watched her testimony, by the way, on Facebook yesterday, so it was amazing. And uh, she had positive results and she uh, basically told you about X39 and you prayed about it and God gave you clear on trying this. So what is your um, experience now and how long you are on X39? Are you only on X39? How long and what is your experience? Okay, I am only on X39 right now. Today is day 10. Oh. So it's not been very long at all. And I want to say with the health conditions, this has been like decades of dealing with this. So um, yes, with a lot of so many different natural modalities and everything um, with trying 
uh, different things. Um, what I'm seeing with it um, at first, I didn't even realize what was going on. I had put it on and then I was noticing that I was feeling better, just had more natural, I just want to say more natural energy. And it was so naturally just smooth. It was just more like myself that I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about the patch and right. yeah. And that, that's how natural the process was with me starting to feel better after a few hours of having it on. <clears throat> and I um, began noticing that I was um, thinking clear and I was having uh, being, I was able to do more, had more endurance with what little that I do other than just my health regimen. I was having a little bit more endurance in doing all of the things that, you know, that I do and just, and uh, I was having the more endurance. And then I was able to do some extra things that I hadn't been, and I lasted a little bit longer. And it was a little after that, that I was, while I was doing the little extra things um, that I was, I realized I've got the X39 patch on, this is where, and so I would just really was the, the natural part of it, how it just feels like you was really good. Um, do you have any, want to, me to share anything else? I've got other things there, but was there anything that well, what I want to tell you right now, what you're describing is my experience because like you have put it in my words, that was my experience. And when the changes come with, when you put a patch on, you have to be really watching yourself because it's easy to overlook. It feels very natural sub and subtle and almost you don't realize it's the patch that causing this. And that's what exactly happened to me. That was my experience. I started to do more things. I was more active. I started cleaning house, which I didn't do for a long time. Uh, I started homeschooling my daughter again. And it was like, uh, you know, it dawned on me I'm better, but I still didn't connect it to the patch. I kind of forgot that there is a patch. And it was not until later that I had this aha moment when I was like, it was the patch, like I need that patch. So I understand when you are describing these kind of natural subtle changes, it's not like taking hydrocodone when you have a pain and then suddenly pain goes away for four hours. It's a different kind of feeling, more natural, more, more normal. But anyway, just go ahead, tell us. I know that Sister Aliza said that you were using electrodes and magnets, correct? Before. I'm using. <clears throat> You're still using. I, <clears throat> yes, I have uh, three different, with part of the natural modalities I've had to bring into this regimen. I've used a, a, a unit that um, sends electrical currents like every nine seconds through my body. So that's been about 20 years of use. Um, so that's helped and that deals a lot with inflammation. Um, and that is like the first thing as praying, the Lord was leading me to start reducing. Um, so I was doing that and having to get more time because there's so much time involved with my regimen with the point where things are at. Um, and so I've been able to reduce that. So X39 has helped with inflammation and that was a, the unit was very big help with that, uh, with the inflammation. I use a, what's called a magnetic pulser, um, different areas of the body have had to do that. Um, and I'm still using that. So I'm expecting great results to be able to eliminate that as well. Um, mm -hmm. I use uh, another unit that works on the frequencies of the body um, that has been very, very helpful, um, which, you know, balances the body out. And I'm expecting uh, from what I've seen so far with X39 that I'm going to be able to, you know, not have to do any of those. And then also into the regimen of the supplementation for the, you know, that I had to use for medications and then what medication. So I'm looking, I'm just, my faith is very strong always through the years. Yeah. And so I'm uh, just expecting to be able to remove all of those other things and um, with the process of, you know, continuing to use the X39 and the other things that they that they have that I've, I actually ordered some more things last night that um, I had found that could help with some of the things because I want to expedite. I want to be careful 
as a move forward. And I can go into that later, but um, I have some other benefits if you want me to, that I may have. Absolutely. I know that uh, Sister Aliza wrote me that you started to use X39 for one hour because I told her to start slow. And especially we didn't know how it's going to work with your other therapies. But X39 in itself is a frequency therapy, by the way, because it is, uh, you know, it is natural. It doesn't put drug in your body. It doesn't put supplement in your body. What it does, it's your own body emits red light and that frequency is returned back to the body so that's why i was very careful what i tell sister aliza and <laughs> i said well make sure that tanya uses um x39 when she's not on these other frequency therapies so that way because i was afraid but then uh you started with one hour of x39 were you able to increase your time actually <laughs> I, I want to say, in in where we're, you know, if people don't know why it's starting slow, it has to do with what's called detoxing or Herxheimer or healing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, things like this that you're not familiar with. And I had to learn about this, uh, you know, over 20 years ago, the hard way and still dealt with it throughout all the years. So it is something that people need to be aware of. And it's just um, the healing crisis is basically what it is, is saying. It says your body is healing all the bad stuff is starting to die off and come out and it makes them mad <laughs> and and so there so you can have so there's a lot of things with this healing crisis detoxing etc to do um so in going into that i was a um i was going to start with about an hour or two and um i have things that i do to help with detoxing so just through prayer i was going to start with two i ended up going over <laughs> into a little over three hours. Um, and I ended up into a, um, major detox that night. I felt good. And then major detox. And so just, then I began. So thankfully, um, by the next day that I was able to take some of the things that I do to help with detox. And, uh, so that was, so I continued with the X39, but that was because that's how I felt led to do and so I was staying at that, but I have been able to increase, increase more quickly because I've used these other things to help with me, to help my body to detox. And I just want to be sure everybody knows to be really careful and just really listen to your body. If you're a believer, listen to the Lord, you know, pray about it, you know, and, um, and just really pay attention to what's going on with your body. And if it, you start feeling worse, that's, it's where it's, more than likely it's working, it's doing its thing. So like I said, I'm speaking from about 20 something years of having to deal with and still deal with it now. So yes, and you're absolutely correct because X39, X49, then you know, you can actually really start a very major Huxheimer effect. And I had people now that we share patches for two and a half months uh, myself I felt a little bit of it because I started extreme thirst I knew that I have to increase fluids and they told me right they told me make sure you increase fluids and electrolytes because detox might happen and sure enough my body did react with a lot of thirst and I knew I'm kind of dehydrated so I need to hydrate hydrate and get electrolytes going but what I recommend when you do get healing crisis number one that means it works something is happening in your body x39 is a detoxifier it's a major detoxifier it starts 4,000 biochemical reactions in your body so uh you know things will start happening whether you want or not and then what you do is just reduce your time at first take it off drink fluids lay down and then um next day put it try to put it on maybe for three hours or six hours, start very slow and build up to the 12 hours a day. So what were your other experiences with X39? What did it help you with? Well, I, I was looking at things that I had tried to jot down and I think I pretty much um, mentioned them, but I did want to mention that uh, my mother um, that lives next door to me, she did not know that I was doing this and a few days after, um, so it was about six or seven days into it, she says, God's doing something, something's going on with you. <laughs> and uh, 
so it was uh so she knew that there was something positive going on and so that's when i told her i said uh told her about the patch and what it was going so it was noticeable some people may not think that what i've experienced is a big deal but it for me it is really a major thing and i know from what you shared with your experience it is a major thing and then so i have had you know someone else to notice you know as well what was going on um so that's that's been a really good positive that's amazing and how much time you moved up to tanya pardon how much time on the patch have you moved up to well i want to i want to <laughs> be careful there because i don't want you know like as people who's not used to this right now i'm up to 10 hours wow so, that's amazing okay so here again just really want to emphasize how to be really cautious if you're experiencing things and it can build up you might can do an hour a day or two hours a day and then as it builds up you might your body might start healing more and more so it might produce more so just being aware that this Herxheimer thing this healing crisis situation that it's out there and don't just know to back up like Yana was saying just know to back up, be aware of this and to, to know how to adjust, but it is your body actually healing. So just listen to your body, adjust the way you need to adjust. And the main thing is stay on it, be consistent. And I know that I'm only on day 10, but where I'm experiencing from is from my 20 years of dealing with things is how I'm speaking into this is, is from that. So, and I'm applying everything that I've learned through the school of hard knocks with Herxheimer and detox in with X39 too. And it is something that I've, through different things, I've really encouraged people to really be careful of, you know, what the detox, but it's, it's a positive thing. If you know how to know it's there, know how to work with it. Excellent. One thing I wanted to mention is that, uh, Tanya, is that um, when you mentioned the candida uh, aspect, uh, I had some type of a blood fungus many, many years ago. So I do understand and have a great appreciation of what that can do to you. I had it for 10 years and it was so bad that, uh, and it would come out on my body everywhere and it just it didn't matter where it was at. And the doctor, when he would give me a medication, he'd give me three pills and I would say, that's it. And he said, if I give you more, it'll kill you. <laughs> He said, that's how strong this medication is. He said, but it will not kill this fungus that's in your blood. He said, you're probably stuck with this for life. And um, and of course, in my case, I finally got to the point one day to where I just had enough. And I just cried out to Jesus. And I said, Lord, I said, either you're going to heal me or I'm because I'm not taking anything, won't do anything. I literally looked like a leper. It got so bad. My whole face was just just covered in it. And my own mother said, oh, my gosh, son, what is wrong with you? And I said, nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. he, but he did heal me and took it away. But I, but I, the thing is, is I understand the seriousness of just that aspect. But then you mentioned the mold in, in the body as well. Well, the I mean, mold is kind very, of candida and black yeah. mold, especially yeah. that's bad. So the healing crisis can happen, especially for people who have severe toxicities. If you don't have that kind of toxicities, a lot of people won't even experience healing crisis. So it really depends on what's in your body uh, and, and what kind of uh, condition you have. So you have to know your body, watch your body. And thank you for actually mentioning that. That was extremely important. And um, X39, you said that it, you feel like it's taking down inflammation, and it certainly is. In clinical studies, it's proven they have done thermography pictures, and it's proven that uh, after applying X39, its inflammation of the body is decreasing. And also in clinical studies, X39 is amazing for any kind of lung illness. It, it literally will um help to to fix the damages to the lungs so uh you know just yes if you have healing crisis take this advice use the patch 
less, but build up to it very slowly and increase your fluids and electrolytes. Being hydrated doesn't mean that you're drinking a lot of water only. You have to have those minerals, electrolytes in that water. So make sure you do that. So uh, Tanya, tell us, uh, I mean, I know that you have your first 10 days, amazing experiences. We, we're going to keep up with you, like keep asking how you're feeling. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of people have results after three months, six months. And I was just this morning on the training. It was a special training for us at 10 o'clock in the morning. And there came a gentleman whose wife couldn't hear out of right ear. And he was describing how he had to always uh, come to the left side to talk and he almost was in tears. He was trying to hide this, but I, and I don't remember exactly after how many months on X39, but one night his wife had this big pop in a, in a ear and her hearing came back and that <laughs> was right. And it just happens unexpectedly. And I will tell you what happens to me. I, I had not only balancing of my brain happen, and I was able to cancel ketamine treatment. And I know it sounds bad, ketamine, right? But I was on the doctor's care with it, with anesthesiologist. But yes, they were giving me ketamine infusions and the benefit lasted five days. And then I went back to what I call hell. You know, I, I really, it, it was just, but I was willing to pay that price just to have five days that I felt like a human being. And then it was wow. back again. And I was telling Steve, well, we tried everything, even ketamine. So I don't know what else to do. And I, I was hopeless. I was able to cancel that treatment in December. And uh, I didn't have to have it till today. Another benefit was my migraine headaches are gone. And I suffered with migraines my whole life, but during PTSD, past two years, they were three times a week. And I had to be on medication called Maxalt. And when you take that medicine, you know what the side effect is? Depression. So imagine having PTSD and then medicine that helps your migraine that causes depression while you're in PTSD. So it was like a cycle. I, I was just literally mm -hmm. thinking I'm gonna go crazy. and. I am off. I, I didn't have to take a mugs out for eight weeks now. So it, it, it's just for me, I call myself X39 wonder. I don't know. It just, that's what it have done for me. It balanced my hormones, my brains, my brain. Uh, I have PTSD, but I am improved 80%. When I have a trigger, I am able to control it now very, very quickly. And by myself without any, you know, within a few minutes and I'm okay. So uh, it, it is uh, almost unbelievable. When I called my anesthesiologist and canceled, Steve called her, canceled my treatment. And he said to her, well, my wife got better from a patch. And she's like, what did she get better from? Like, I would like to hear about this. What? Well, well, how did she get better? <laughs> you know, so uh, these type of things are happening. So I encourage you to stay on a patch, watch your body. You're doing excellent job. You're very encouraging after 10 days. And I know that it doesn't seem like a lot, but for somebody who suffered like you and suffers like you, this is amazing. And yes. And I had one I didn't mention was that um, you brought that up and it dawned on me. I was diagnosed with CPTSD. So that's really, in, so that's another thing. Uh, so I was really encouraging. So, uh, you know, to hear. So, but my thing was some of the medications that I take cause depression. Yes. Yeah. So, so I don't, uh, so I don't, in, anyway, so that, yes, that mix of, you know, things going on and then, and then the, you know, um, having the medication to cause that as well, that I didn't know it was one that you wouldn't think that would, but so, you know, it does. And is that when I, before this, before when I lessened, I, I finally made the connection. So yes, it is something to watch and be careful. So that's great to hear about you. 
Yes, and also it's very good to start writing down, like literally with X39, I have a diary and write down every day how you feel or how you felt before X39 because we have a tendency to take for granted when we feel better. We just kind of forget how bad we felt, just like women when they give birth and it hurts and then baby comes out and then you forget all about the pain. So uh, that's just our nature. And so write it down so you know that this is due to your stem cell activation. And it only makes sense because to me, it is a God's medicine, God's science. I will tell you why. Because God did not tell us to create artificial drugs in a lab, but he did put stem cells in our body. We mm -hmm. have stem cells in every organ of our body, every organ, care, even brain. And you know, those stem cells have a reason to be there. And for whatever reason in our toxic world, we have them deactivated and dormant and not working. So if there is any tool that can activate those cells and they can start working for us as God intended, so I welcome that tool. And so it's safe, it's, it's very innocent. It's just light frequency that's reflected, mm -hmm. mirrored back into you. And sometimes it can be that simple. Okay, so thank you so much, Tanya. We're going to keep uh, in touch with you and we want to know how you feel. So please keep us informed. Keep writing things down because I'm very excited over, over your testimony. We'll call thank you every 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> how about every 15 days? <laughs> <laughs> okay okay thank you so much for coming on with yes, us thank and, you very much uh, sister aliza i would love to hear your testimony if you have time and i know that sister tanya if you have to leave i understand i know that this is hard for you to be on online like that so it's up to you but i have sister aliza here now and if she has about five ten more minutes to tell us about herself. And I watched your testimony on Facebook. Very beautiful. Thank you. It really, truly warmed my heart to hear that. So can you tell us about yourself? It has truly been a blessing. And I was trying, I was asking my husband how long we had known Tanya, it, but it's been like nine years. And, Since and yeah, 2013. And we really uh, had connected due to Israel, first of all, mm -hmm. and both become friends and both of us had uh, medical issues. Mine has pretty much been my back for the last 10 years, but it had uh, exacerbated about five years ago where I could not get any relief. Yeah. And for as few years, I have been under the care of pain clinics. And if y'all have ever had to go through a pain clinic, it is like you have become a revolving door, yeah. having to take whatever they tell you to take, do whatever they tell you to do. And then, then they treat you like a drug addict. Yes. And nothing bit, helps. Nothing helps. They just kind of, no, you know. I know because Steve is a pain management patient. Oh, uh, it has been horrible. I've just, a good Jewish doctor did a, a nerve ablation on me after I moved here. Mm -hmm. It worked for five years, didn't have any problem. And then five years ago, when it stopped working, I have not been able to find anything to give me any relief. The only thing I, I was functioning from morning, uh, two to three cups of coffee, my morning meds, two at that time, and then at noon, another two, and at uh, the afternoon, another two, and then two to be able to even sleep. And that was just to keep me functioning because we're very active. We're organic gardeners, and, you know, that's hard work. Uh, we have a small working farm and we can't, we have a, a certified canning kitchen. We have a food pantry that serves 500 families. I have to be able to function. Yes. And that's how I've been functioning for the last few years. But 
from the beginning when Tim found uh, Steve talking about this, <laughs> talking about X39, he said, you've got to, you got to try this. Yes. Listen, he had me listening to both of you and what was going on. And I said, you ordered, I'll do it. I'll do anything. And from the beginning, I had, Enor I mean, it was unbelievable. I was feeling so much better within 24 hours. I felt like I really didn't need the medicine, which sort of scared me because I knew coming off this medicine was pretty bad because I've had to do it before. But I just very little of it did I take and I had no withdrawal. So within a, a few days, I was totally off of it without the uh medication i mean that is just that, that unbelievable is, you are a one patch wonder you know there are people like that uh we have uh shannon in our group she was a one patch wonder a woman who was on a couch all day because of her pain fibromyalgia you know mm -hmm. and she was in menopause and just you can imagine <laughs> and uh after one patch she got off the couch within a few hours and she was saying to her husband i have a clearer vision my brain is more like can i can think my fog has lifted and then she started to work in a garden and he yeah. was just, he was amazed he said i got my wife back what happened so she she was a one patch wonder not not many people are like that and what, what I want to say is this with that with that experience of yours is that if you are on the X39 and you don't you let's say only three weeks, four weeks, and you say, well, maybe I, I feel like inflammation decreased, but I am just still not well. Keep it up because sometimes, right, right because sometimes it like think about this. How long did it take you to get to condition you are in? long years right. right okay right and we don't know what it is in your body that's emergency for the stem cells there might be right. something they're working on that that the stem cells are thinking well that's her survival emergency not what she thinks you know and i'm right. just you know talking like so you can understand sometimes right. there are things in our body that we don't even know Sometimes when you get a little worse, it might be healing crisis. So be very aware of healing crisis you might get. Not all of right. us get it, but some people do. And then also a lot of people get, um, they get their results after several months. Like that lady I told you about, they got the hearing back. That right. something popped at night and now, wow, she's hearing. And doctors had no idea, by the way, what was wrong. She just lost hearing in one ear and it came back with the patch after. And, you know, I have to really recheck how long, but I think it was. Well, there was long. an Oriental guy one time that it took him seven months. He was going to quit after the sixth month and uh, he was nearly deaf in both ears. And he went ahead and ordered the seventh month. And while he was taking the X39 in the seventh month, uh, just suddenly one day he woke up and one ear, I forget which ear it was. He had perfect 100 percent hearing back in that ear. And so therefore he decided, well, I'm not stopping at all now. I'll keep going into the other side work. I mean, we need our stem cells. And now you, Sister Aliza, you need your strength on the farm. I know that can be hard because we moved from Orlando to Tennessee to middle of nowhere. And I will tell you, uh, my husband made me to work in a garden and I started to try. And I was like, whoa, this is hard work. So... You better be in a good shape. So tell us, tell us more. So your your experiences and how long are you right now on X39? Let's see. Uh since Thanksgiving. Uh or after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, and then in let's see, I was on it at the at Thanksgiving and then December and then January, we took a trip to see my grand my daughter and her family. And I have not been able to drive over an hour and a half for a couple of years. I just, my, I'm like Steve, the nerves in my foot from my back to my feet 
I couldn't stand long. I could not drive pushing on the pedal. And you know, in Arkansas, you don't have anything but mountains and dirt roads. Mm -hmm. So you just can't get out and drive anywhere and do anything because the terrain is terrible. <laughs> So you really have to have your balance. You have to have those nerves. You know, your body needs to be able to walk and maneuver wherever you go. But I drove, well, it was the first time I had called Tanya after doing the patch. I was driving. My husband was sleeping. I was driving and been driving for three hours. And I called her and I said, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Your husband must be so thankful he could sleep I, while you drive. Yeah, and that's a nine-hour drive, and we would not have even been able to consider it if I had not been on X39 and at you, all. I, I want to tell you, if finance is allowed to get you, it's not that expensive to add ice wave when you drive. When I drive from Tennessee to Florida, you know how you drive at seven, eight hours straight, and it just hurts right here and here. I put just preventively before I go in a car, I put ice wave on right here, the, the brown patch and on that side, the white patch. And I can tell you, I can drive through with no tension, no pain. And it's just amazing. Well, that was my next choice. Is to, I heard Steve, I think it was you, Steve, talking about the uh, ice wave. Ice wave. Yes, yeah. yes. I use the ice wave quite frequently. And uh, because it's the one thing that's given me relief until I can go through this extensive issues that I have. And like yourself, the driving, I have to stop about every hour and a half. Uh, just yeah. not for gas, just to get out and walk because the sitting, like even now when I sit here, and it doesn't happen all the time, but I'll sit down and something gets pinched. And when it does, I, I'm almost yeah. ready to fall asleep. Yes. As soon as I stand up, I'm wide awake. Right. So, you know, and that's just, that's a battle that you go through. And, you know, but I, I was told when I started, I needed to look at least six months because I had such extensive nerve damage and so many blown out discs that, uh, that, you know, really and truly they said, you know, be consistent, stay on it. Don't stop. It's going to take six months for you to really start noticing a big difference. But I do want to mention about Steve and his benefits. There was a reduction in pain management medication, which for me, it's amazing because I always had to watch his liver and his liver tests, you know, with pain management. Oh, me too. Yes. And so if you can just reduce your medication, that's a... Well, I'm medicine. able to lift things now, whereas I couldn't. I couldn't lift no more than five pounds without having severe pain in my legs. And he can I, bend. He couldn't bend yeah, and pick stuff bend off, off of the floor at all. He couldn't do it. If I bent over, I couldn't stand back up. I had to figure out a way to get back up somehow. So Yeah, I took the food to our doctor, my doctor, and uh, their office has a food pantry thing. And was jumping up and down out of our a uh, one ton truck and the guy that usually sees me coming in there and he was like what are you doing now he, I would not have been able to do that even right. two months ago or three months ago wow. yeah uh, what a blessing yeah I would not have been able to do that yes and you know what uh, another benefit for Stephen you know I, I'm his wife so I really watch his uh, health and everything so memory he used to have started to have really bad memory. He couldn't remember yeah. where he put stuff. Well, he's I got a, where I hid my donuts at. <laughs> this was terrible. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he's got like really better cognition now. Yeah. And uh, he started working out, physically working out with weights, which that was unheard of. Like truly, he would never do that before because he was in so much pain. It was just un. Yeah. I'm just to pick right. up a dumbbell would be would be a nightmare. And now he's working out. We have a workout plan. We plan to get in shape. And it's just, it changed our life. So we do need our stem cells. Anyway, Sister Aliza, tell us anything else you want to tell us about X39. I know you are a brand partner and you have a beautiful Facebook. Uh, I actually went through that yesterday. And and we um, we're going to gold before the end of the weekend 
Is, that, is it gone? And my husband, now I've known him 25, 20, 25 years, and he has never been able to sleep. Yeah. I'm four hours and he's up. No, no restful sleep. And you know, as well as I do, if you don't rest, your body eventually tells on you. Breaks down. And mm -hmm. Nine years younger than me, he hit 50, it really started affecting him. And the one thing that really, really has helped him is with his sleep. He can sleep eight hours wow. and without, you know, the constant dis disturbance. And I know that uh, it will definitely start helping his health. And that we have both been very grateful for this. Yes. And, and I'm, glad, I'm glad he listened to y'all. <laughs> Thank you. And, and you know, it also is a pretty He started listening to y'all several years ago. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, on, and uh, that's how he really even heard about the life wave. <laughs> eventually Aliza what is your but, Facebook yeah. page what's the name of your Facebook page did you create a separate page just for your life wave yes yes it's a uh, life uh, gathering life wave uh, x39 Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, the desire is to truly help people. I know you're doing it out of desire to help people because when we have such great experience, you want to tell everybody, you just want to tell them, Hey, listen, there is a product here that doesn't put drugs in your body and it might help you. And uh, there is many pathways to health. Uh, there is a lot of other natural things we got to do. We have to watch our diet. We can't put junk in our body. Okay, we, we have to drink pure water. Uh, we have to also control our thoughts. Our thoughts have a big, huge impact on our health. So be positive, just like Bible says, think of things that are true, they're good, they're lovely, they're kind. So when we do all of these things together, and now that we have a patch that can give us some red light frequency, it's called photobiomodulation. So that's just another tool. And some people, that's all they're missing. They're doing so many things, right? And, right, right. And, you um, know what I mean? Like you are eating organic, you are having organic farming, you're doing probably really good food and vegetables, you, you love vegetables, which that's what we need. So maybe that was- You make some organic donuts? Organic donuts. Here we go. Anybody she makes have a an recipe? Amazingly good donut as it is. Yes, I do. I'm trying to make it the healthy way, but <laughs> yes. Keep working. Let us know. <laughs> yes, I am. I am studying functional diagnostic nutrition. It's a functional di diagnostic nutrition practitioner. Uh, I am going to well graduate. I was supposed to graduate in April, but life wave took so much time now with people because you know it took kind of like uh priority because people need help. People are so sick. Everybody right. is sick. And I was so surprised. Uh like believe or not, I knew people are sick, but I didn't know it's to such an right, you don't, know you don't the realize extent. the extent that people suffer because when you meet people, they don't talk about it usually, you know, just on a regular basis. But with this patch, they open up their hearts to you and they say, look, I'm suffering this, this, this. And I am listening. I'm like, the whole world is sick. Everybody is sick. And the Western medicine is not helping us. We really think that God is using this to bridge the gap. Yeah, yeah. to help. We, you know, sometimes people won't listen to the church, but God has a way of taking the church to the people. Yes. And we are able to take this to people that would normally not even consider allowing God to use something to heal them. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I just think it's his way of bridging the gap to get us back to being healthy again so we can do the work of the ministry. Or at least feel better, you know, if even if we are not 100 percent, if we are 80 percent better, isn't that better than being well, what we've been? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So whatever else we are waiting on. 
And but for me, it was truly the answer to prayer. And a lot of people get healing from God without any help of drugs or anything. They just, you know, it's a faith healing. They believe on Christ for healing and they get their healing. Some people, their faith just doesn't meet, you know, it, it's just, it's not there yet. There is nothing to really uh, kind of look down at. It's just that people have various types of faith and we have to build that faith. Well, my faith, I guess, you know, I love Jesus and I prayed and people prayed for me. I had tremendous amount of people praying for me. They knew my situation. And I really, truly believe that was from God. There was a brother who was sending me patches, sending Steve patches for his condition. Didn't even, you know, talked about me, but Steve being my good husband, instead of patching himself, and he did patch himself sparingly, but he, as patches he had, he was every day putting it on me, putting it on me. And I was, and it was not a placebo effect, people, because I will tell you, I didn't believe in it. I marked it. I said, what well, is little band they can do? I don't believe in, what is this? You know, so, That's yes. Yeah. So, at least try it. I mean, hey. Yeah, but he, he was doing it. He was the one who was taking away from himself and giving it to me. And that's how I was telling today people uh, on our training in the morning. I said, well, if mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. So you understand <laughs> why my husband was patching me. <laughs> and I would not really uh, believe it will have any, would have any effect. And it ended up being blessing and answer from God for my condition. So I was very excited to share it with the world. And that's the reason we really did share it. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little light note here. I'll share one thing with you as well. My aunts, when I was, I give them patches as well to try. And one of them, Eon for arthritis, the other one, X39 because of the dementia. And as they began to feel better, my aunt that's 75 with the arthritis, she says, well, do you have one for Brian? That's her husband, right? And I said, yeah, duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Steve, Steve is a joker. He will know. Yeah. He's a comedian. Because all it is with her, well, I knew what she was saying when she said, you have one for Brian? Because she just kind of gets irritated with him because he talks a lot, you know? And I said, yeah, duct tape, that's his patch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but anyway, yes, we are uh, giving them patches right now, but they are about to get their own. They, they are on, you know, government help because they're not in the best of finances but it was a it is understand. yes and it truly is a blessing to watch his auntie such a funny person such a good person debbie is and uh just what was her out out you know the the look into the future of dementia that was so debilitating yeah. and it was really yes. turned off and moment. just to see that these patches have helped her she she has it's, flat out told me she said it's like a miracle she yeah. said honest to gosh steve it's, she it's wants like to a do miracle. video with us but anyway yeah she yeah. told me she said i'm strapping on my red boots let's do a video oh that's awesome <laughs> well we have some people with dementia and with the parkinson's that we're trying it on good amen good. and they and there's you know i i don't know if there's clinical studies on that or not but i do know that these people do amazingly well with the patients. well i will tell you that the the life way david schmidt is uh, you know how it is with natural therapies they have to fight fda and be very careful with any claims and we don't want to diagnose well, illness well, let's let's just and we'll we, say it here even for the record it really isn't the patch that heals it's the patch stimulates your copper peptides that stimulates your stem cells and those stem cells your body does the rest your body yeah. your body it, it, what it is it's a tool to awaken your own god given healing modality that your body is able to do and uh, so patch doesn't heal, our body heals, uh, our stem cells heal the body. So give it a time, give it a chance, uh, improve all the rest of your, uh, clean up your life from all the junk 
<laughs> and uh, move your body to a new sister. You also, you are the one who moves your body. So you have to kind of think of rest, you know, because you are a farmer. So you have, you are moving a lot. So you have to think a little other way. Like a lot of pe people just sit all day. So I tell all older people, get up and force yourself to go for a walk. And force yourself to uh, walk because we need movement for our body. Yeah. But you need to actually think of resting a little bit. <laughs> Retire. Yes, yes. Well, it was such a nice discussion. Thank you. I know we are long winded and we always say we'll be short and then end up to be one hour or more. So it's just nature of Steve and me. People will have to just get used well, to let's, it. Well, <laughs> let's do this. You stay with us here for a second, Sister Elisa, and we'll go ahead and close this part of the interview, though. We want to thank everybody for joining us mm -hmm. here. We're going to be sharing this video in a lot of different places. And uh, so, you know, and, and check out uh, check out Elisa's Facebook page there. And if you would, Elisa, share that Facebook page again with people. Gathering Life Wave X39. Gathering Life Wave X39 on Facebook. So definitely uh, check out her Facebook page there. I'm sure it'll be a blessing to you. And you could also follow the testimonies because I'm sure Elise is going to publish as well, uh, Tanya, and her story as she goes along too. So thank you for listening. Uh, Steve thank you. Benin with Israeli News Live. Thank you. Amen. All right, let me stop the recording.